Stanton's Veterans Memorial Park played host to the ninth annual Veterans Day celebration. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful day. Led by Master of Ceremonies Lieutenant Sean Howell, Chief of Stanton Police Services, the celebration was held to give thanks to the men and women who have bravely served and protected our country, as well as those currently active in the armed forces. We are honoring all those veterans of our nation, and specifically the ones here in the city of Stanton. Uh, it, was, it was just an unbelievable event today, and I looked out in the crowd as I was, uh, as I was talking, and I, I caught a couple of the eyes of some of the veterans, and uh, I tell you, I had to hold the tears back. I think about my father that, that served uh, Vietnam and grandfather who served World War II and, and uh, the family vets. and just, It was just a very honorable moment today uh, uh, to celebrate the vets. Gracious and Heavenly Father. The day's event began with an invocation from Pastor Sam Barella, chaplain for the Orange County Sheriff's Department, and our national anthem sung by Nicole Jacinto and Charlize Doe, St. Polycarp Catholic School student choir members. Guest speaker, Major Chad Baker, talks about what an honor it is for him to speak at the event, as well as what Veterans Day means to him. I would have paid uh, the city of Stanton for this opportunity. It was uh, tremendous, and uh, it's just one way for me to personally show uh, the community, and as well as my family and my friends, of how important this day is and why we should value it. Personally, it's a time for me to reflect, you know, and look back on on some of the challenges that I've gone through and some of the people that uh, I've served with uh, and for those that uh, unfortunately aren't here with us today, uh, I feel it's my duty to make sure that they're remembered and that we celebrate this day in their memory. The St. Polycarp Catholic School Student Choir was also on hand again this year to treat the audience to a patriotic medley. First fold, symbol of life. The day ceremony also included a lesson on what the 13 folds of the flag represent when ceremoniously folded. The third fold, in honor and remembrance of the veterans departing the ranks who gave a portion of their lives for the defense of the country to attain peace throughout the world. Honorable Ed Roy Sr. is a World War II veteran and is one of the best examples of what the greatest generation is all about. Ed Roy Sr. is the recipient of this year's flag folding ceremony. A World War II veteran, Ed Roy Sr. is also a former mayor of Stanton. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Lieutenant Howe closed the ceremony with a poignant quote from President Harry S. Truman. Our death to the heroic men and valiant women in the service of our country can never be repaid. They have earned our undying gratitude. America will never forget their sacrifices. I started with saying thank you. I'm going to finish by saying thank you from all of our hearts. Thank you for allowing us veterans to live how we live today. The city of Stanton wishes to thank the following for making this year's Veterans Day ceremony a success.